Central Ohio, this is what you'll see. Some areas are under a wind advisory. The signs are already lit up on the highway right now with that warning for drivers. As you saw from that video, those are what we call high profile vehicles. Mm -hmm. no, we don't want to see that. Horrible. No, I mean, I'm already terrified enough driving next to some eyes. Just, mm -hmm. just personal thing. Um, so, yeah, when you add winds that could actually topple them, mm -hmm. I mean, it just makes it even more terrifying. So, so they said 60 mile per hour gusts. Is that kind of what we're dealing with, or is it much lower than that? No, it's going to be lower than that for us today. We're looking between 40 and 50. So, if you think about yes or yesterday, last week's wind event that happened. Feels like yesterday. I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Last week, we had those really strong winds. I don't think we're going to be nearly as windy as that, but we are looking looking at the threat for severe storms for tomorrow. And this is what I really want to hit on brand new for today. Again, we're going to go ahead. We'll talk about the winds for today here momentarily, but let's talk about our severe weather threat for us here tomorrow. Now, as far as when these storms will roll through, it looks like we'll have a round that moves through during the morning, and then we'll also have a cold front that moves through during the afternoon and evening. So we will have kind of two rounds of seeing some storms. Now, a few of these storms will be severe, could be severe. It looks likely that they will be with high winds likely and even an isolated tornado. NATO all a possibility with tomorrow's setup. An enhanced risk that orange you see there does not happen every day here in central Ohio. So we just want you to be extra careful and weather aware tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon when we have that potential for severe storms. Now today, not to discount today. Again, if you're going to be out there driving, it is going to be windy. We've got a wind advisory in effect until four. Compare that to last week where we had a high wind warning. So we're not in under a warning today. Day. It is just an advisory, just an early heads up that we could be seeing some of those stronger wind gusts anywhere between 40 and 50 miles per hour. And it's primarily going to be north and west of I-70. You can see up towards Marion, Bucyrus, Kenton, the strongest winds today down to the southeast from Athens, Caldwell, Cambridge, to Jackson, Chillicothe, not going to be as windy, but the winds will relax for everybody as we head into overnight tonight, which will be nice. Now, that's out ahead of our next weather maker. And again, and we've got two systems that I'm talking about two different days too. today's weather system actually brought us a little bit of rain last night. You may see that on your car. It's out of here. We've got clear skies, but on the back side is the wind. So that's why we will have the winds out there for today. Tomorrow's weather system right here across the Mountain West, leading to some snow showers, pretty big snowflakes out there flying in the state of Colorado. So that energy rolling across the central part of the state as we go through tonight and that cold front will begin to move in as we go through tomorrow afternoon. Let's go ahead and show you everything here with your hour by hour forecast again today. It's going to be really windy. It'll be sunny. It'll be pretty and it's also going to be warm. The record high in Columbus is 70 set back in 1954. We'll get real close if not touch that later on today. So after a warm, sunny, windy day, here comes some clouds. And as we go to bed tonight, looks like we'll have clouds moving through. And then here comes the first round of storms from south to north as we go through tomorrow morning. It's tomorrow afternoon where it looks more likely that we'll have some strong and severe storms. This is six o'clock tomorrow. This line right here is the cold front moving across the area as we go through tomorrow afternoon. That could give us again damaging winds even an isolated tornado. So we will be watching that very closely for tomorrow. So take this red here you see here on the 10 day forecast. Seriously, you'll want to be weather aware for tomorrow um, and just have those alerts set on your phone just in case you get a severe thunderstorm warning or hopefully not a tornado warning issued for your area. Your 10 TV app will take care of that for you. And then, of course, you can tune in because we'll be tracking those storms tomorrow as well. But again, we'll be warm, windy, sunny today, storms, some of those strong too severe for tomorrow. And then look at the cold air moving in. We're dropping to the 30s on Friday. Pretty chilly this weekend as well. Angela.